Hey guys, welcome back. Today we're going to do Brass, issue number two by Image Comics. This is a um, wraparound cover that looks stunning. Uh, every, everything in this comic looks stunning, by the way. So, um, without further ado, let's dive in. So, oh God, this art is so good. So this is happening. This looks like a scene from Alien. Um, it seems that, a um, little bit of a context, they did some experiments on four people, I believe. They injected them with something and they turned into, uh, I don't know, killer robots? <laughs> Look at this. This is, this is not normal, guys. This is... Oh, this is... This is gorgeous. This is gorgeous. So yeah, these, uh, these experiments, they are talking in some kind of a code here. Uh, I have no clue what they are saying, but they are somehow communicating with each other. And they are killing everything in sight in this facility. And um... <laughs> Oh God, this is so cool. Oh man, I'm just, I'm sorry. I just appreciate everything this artist is doing. And uh, so at the end, they are leaving the compound um, into the open. And, uh, but then we go, um, well, we see here, so everybody's massacred, but there's still fluids of that certain serum left that is dropping in this guy's eye, although he's dead. So I wonder what's going to happen in the next issue. <laughs> Meanwhile, uh, our, uh, our, our friend, Herschel Goldstein, says, yesterday I found out I have cancer. Right now I'm being chased down the subway tracks by cops. I think it's because he thinks I shot a bus driver earlier today. But if that doesn't explain things for you, go back and read the first issue. <laughs> well, you can do that. I made a review. And, you know, if you like what you see, subscribe to my channel and all that jazz. And uh, so, yeah, the cops are shooting at him and they are looking. But then he falls in some kind of a hole because of well, reasons. So he falls down very far and he's you know his his arm is broken and he says it's the sewer i think i'm gonna well he would probably say throw up but then he sees this oh wow what what's that pots like i said it feels a little bit me mechanized alien story but then we go back to 1976 and this is a comic in this comic we go back and forth the whole time so it seems that you know these people have a little bit of an argument but more like um, well, I'm going to read the narrative. You call this hunting? What happened to man taking what he needed for nature? Hunting for survival with tools he made for himself. It's the sec exactly the same thing. The tools have changed. Sure, once it was bow and arrow. Now it's just laser guided compound bow. And then he shoots the deer. So he says, basically, you're wrong if you think it, this isn't about survival. Ours is the only species unable to fend for itself in the wild. Our ability to make stuff is the only thing that's keeping those animals from tearing the flesh from our bones. We have to create more powerful tools if we are stay um, if we are going to stay on top. I'm surprised you don't see that way. Uh, so yeah, these ducks are ripping this this poor deer apart, and then you know we go into this um, carrier. Is that how you say it? And um, in the Gulf of Mexico. And um, look at this. The, the art is so spectacular. It's very, it's very uh, pleasant looking. It's not even static. It's just, it feels like everything is in motion. It's just great stuff. So uh, then they get a message that, um, that four terrorists uh, of unknown nationality has control of the base. Um, and they're packing some kind of very new hardware. Um, so, and then this, well, this guy says, hey, uh, we need to take action. And this all here reminds me of, I don't know, when we go back to the 90s, this is also a 90s book, but it's a, you know, um, from Image, you know, Team 7, Gen 13, uh, IO, you know, um, if you are a little bit familiar with those words, um, you know, it, it, this, this very high tech facilities, a little bit of shield, although this looks way more advanced than, you know, shield carrier and you know shield uh, equipment in my opinion but uh, yeah it's way more advanced it looks great i love the the science fiction element of this and um 
So basically, he says, um, whatever these boys have their hands on, the suits want it. The suits want it back more than the daughter's virginity. <laughs> Are we talking about nukes? I don't know, and we don't need to know, soldier, he says. The jumpers go first, then the secondaries, and then you two in the ACOM. I thought to myself, what is the ACOM? Well, we're going to find out. Um, and they are being spotted then. So, yeah, look at this, man. This, the inside of these, this helicopter, how much detail. So, yeah, they are um, here at the base, and these, let's say, terrorists uh, react and, you know, shoot back immediately because everything is pr apparently an, an enemy. Look at this, this design. Holy crap. And like I said, the action is so immersive. Like this explosion already, man. This, 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 everything in it is vaporized. You're dead instantly. And all these, these cool looking explosions and flames and, oh man, like the helicopter's falling down and then exploding here. It's so cool. And uh, this guy shoots back with, I don't know, what kind of lasers, Gatling guns. Uh, well, this guy's, you know, shouting uh, uh, orders, I guess. And uh, yeah, also this, they are being hit. And I love it that this swirly, when this, this chopper is out of control, um, we're drawing fire, we're taking hits all over the place. It's just so awesome looking. Anyway, and um, so yeah, talking about the experimental thing that they uh, have in their back pocket. Um, keep them occupied a little bit longer, Eagle Trust. Eagle Thrust is probably a, some kind of a name. We're firing up the ACOM. So the ACOM comes, and it's a very advanced science fiction-looking plane. Uh, we can screw around with these guys. Cray. Uh, Cray. Where is that? Why is that so familiar? Hmm, okay. Um, let's go in close and give it everything we've got. So he shoots some kind of a missile, and this guy's toast. <laughs> Look at this. Yeah, he's dead. And then um, he's going to turn, they are going to turn around with this plane and, uh, you know, um, they are releasing the AM Scrambler. Okay. And he says, hey, we're going to finish it. And yeah, they're using the Scrambler and it seems that everybody is now down, dead, unconscious. I'm not entirely sure. But, uh, you know, this, this, this plane is landing and, uh, yeah, it seems they uh, have, um, how do you say, well, this, this, I'm not sure if they are the good guys, but this team won. And um, so all these people here are saying, the escape of the test subjects has turned out to be a blessing in disguise. This was the first practical real-world test of the virus. The boys back at the lab will be studying in this memory we're downloading for months. Um, there are no boys at back at the lab. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> all right. Yeah. So... Um, this is great stuff, you know, these are escape experiments with, I don't know, robot nanovirus stuff. And then they are using their own weapons to stop them, which is pretty cool. Although I must admit that the story is a little bit vague. There's only three issues. Um, so I wonder how they wrap it up. And, um, but meanwhile, we have Herschel here. Herschel, what's his name again? Let me double check. Is it Herschel? Uh... Herschel Goldstein, yes. So he discovers it and he has a sound and then we see all these tubes with the virus in it and he has no clue what it is. And then he pushes the button here and then something happens. Well, I'm not sure why, but stuff is starting to move and rearrange, etc. And then we also go back to the past in the loading bay. Um, so it seems that these people here has stuffed that virus in the sewer so that nobody can find it but Herschel find it and he says neato when he looks at this these chemicals so 1976 1996 1976 1996 so yeah they are I says that's the last of the of the gear let's get out or let's clear out so I believe they are abandoning this facility I guess and he says hey it looks like a computer chip oh it's stuck to my hands says Herschel and then this guy says whoever thought of hiding the stuff under the New York City sewers was a damn genius last place anyone would look especially since virtually everyone that knows about it thinks it's been destroyed okay 
Not sure why they leave all this equipment here back, but you know, we'll see. But then this thing comes alive and hits Herschel with something. And then Herschel is undergoing a, some kind of a gruesome, and well, if you can call it that, transformation. And he says, it happens so suddenly I lose my breath, like I'm jumping into freezing cold water. Pain starts. It shoots up my arm from my inside, making my blood solid. It grabs my heart and squeezes out the last drops. The last thing I feel is the air forced out of my lungs as my lungs collapse. I am on then only my brain floating in a body that's no longer mine. And then he's, his language is changing. Look at this, man. This looks so cool. And then, um, yeah, he is transforming into this, wow, incredibly dangerous looking bioweapon, if you can call it that. <laughs> While the cops are still looking for them. He says, smells like a sewer down here. Where do you think we are, Einstein? Remind me how you talked me into coming down here. Shut up. I see something. So yeah, uh, Herschel is transforming into, I don't know if his name is Brass, but let's call it Brass. And so he, he jumps up and he says, time to kick ass. And they say, what the hell is that? I don't know. I think it's armed. And it leads us to the next issue. Oh man, I wonder what's going to happen, but these cops are done. <laughs> yeah, great stuff. Like I said, the, the story is a little bit vague. Uh, I hope we get more information. Uh, next issue. Uh, I know there is a Brass Volume 2, so I hope it's not a cliffhanger, you know, that leads us into Volume 2 because I do not have that, uh, nor it has the same art team on it. But we'll see. Maybe we get some answers. Guys, let me know what you think about this. And I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.